it would put me at odds with Aragon. I do need some Aragon land. Breaching in Rome itself has a poetic feel to it. I can't disagree there. Their only friend really is Aragon. Have we got our army over here? We do? Good. Well, let's go and pick up the rest of them and hope that we never have any more troubles down in Burma. It looks like our good friend Diviet has won this war quite happily. But I'd probably tell Diviet that I wouldn't join him in any future wars. Might all just go in. Just go in uh, pretty grim for the Chinese there. Scotland's hanging on in the Western Isles. Reminds me of the years in Rice and Salt. Get out of my land. They do. Good. And we're back on with Prosperity and ABBA. We have some pretty dang good leadership right now. Bare minimum leads us into a golden age, whilst the real Klimpy isn't too bad either. Always the lasses in charge here. Oh, you read that book? I don't read. Uh, but I played the EU3 setup for it, which was incredibly interesting. Yeah, it's getting pretty hard to resist the beachhead in Roma, even though it's not optimal, it seems the most poetic. And it does give us reach on a whole lot more here. Hey, Prome gets 60 ducats out of this war, it's, it's proven kind of lucrative for me. Mong Quang no longer have the means to send us military tribute, they'll send us Dosh instead. Well, I guess the development just fell a bit too low. Well, if that's going to be the case, I'm going to punch a bit more money out of you because it's what I deserve. As for you, Lana, I feel like you're not giving me enough either, so let's just punch everybody for money. Could punch Mong Nai for money as well, but they'd be particularly unhappy about it. But isn't that what being my subject is all about? I sent the boats back, right? Yeah, they'll be off to pick up the rest of the army. Sometimes I'm feeling like I don't have enough transports to make my invasion a reality. Let's unmothball our heavies so they're in a position to sail over there and wreak some havoc. And let's also get some extra cogs to sail to sail over one, two, three. Oh, we're at our force limit. Well, toodles to that idea. We're actually over our force limit, so it's costing us... Uh, Almost as much as the army. Good thing we have plenty of ducats out of Ming. But we got to make it work for us. I hope I'm drowning in favours for this. Only 12. Okay. How's our karma looking? Too high, frankly. I mean, it's not going to stay too high, so i got no problem with it being even higher. That said, though, if we're going to invade... Let's bring it down. It's almost at the point where we get discipline and diplomatic reputation, which is a great double whammy. For us, at least. Army tradition, unrest, attrition. Yeah, it's all pretty good, but we're not prepped up for it just yet. Okay, if I can keep going with my spy network on uh, Portugal for just a little bit longer, I should be able to grab maps about Europe. Iberia, France, Germany, it's all pretty important to know about. Our boats are often god knows what there, though. Is Theodora independent and without strong allies? Theodora is independent, but they have Muscovy as an ally. And they're also a pretty awful place for me to go to. It's outside of my range for one, and it's orthodox for two. So unless I had a plan to get a lot more orthodox land, then it's nay good. It is, however, part of the map that we have here, so I can I can justify it. We can make it so. Any plans regarding the League War? I don't really do plans so much. Let's get the hand of eye in on that. At least you're a little bit faster than nothing. And let's get rocking 75... 75% uh, 75 togetherness should be fine for the ships. 
Yeah, the Ottomans are a bit of an intimidating one to take on so early with so few. <sighs> yeah, the more I think about it, the more the best CB on the Papal State seems like the right idea, but I will be drowning in aggressive expansion from doing that. Well, sometimes you just gotta get through days like that. Think of the glory of an Anglican Roman Empire. Uh, looking at that, I think we do have Anglican on the rise in Britain. You won't get an aggressive expansion for your initial wars since Europeans don't know about you. Quite a few of them do now, so if I wanted to do the best CB, I should have done it already. Um, Portugal, will you let me steal maps? Yeah, I could do Britain, Iberia, France... Uh, France is going to be one of the harder ones to know about, so I think I will do France. Thank you kindly. That opens our eyes on the situation. Also tells us that the Reformed Faith is doing very strong there. Intimidatingly strong. How easy is it to ally Hungary? Distance between borders is slaughtering me with most of these people. I need to do my amazing attack on... Uh, okay, I can pull you from Portugal now. I need to do my amazing attack on the Papal State to make it more of a reality. I want my units in position. Looks like Spain, uh, Castile rather did get the inheritance, making it all the weirder that they couldn't wipe out Granada, but I guess they got their lucky alliance with the Ottomans. Now, do any of these people want to be my friend? <laughs> Granada is the only European that wants to be my friend. What a tough life we live. Portugal actually would. Portugal very close to being my friend, which is kind of cute. What else do we want to explore here, if anything? The coastline of England might be useful. Once we've got our uh, diplomat back, we can declare war on uh, the Papal State just to get it out of the way. It would be good to spend some of this admin power as well. So doing this no CB is going to uh, annoy Aragon and Siena. However, I should have... Uh, for one, they don't know how to get to me, so I'm relatively safe on that front. They might snipe these uh, exploration ships, but so be it. What I'm more interested in is the Papal State have 1,300, Aragon have 30,000, which is a bit intimidating uh, and very difficult for me to work against. However, what's mattering here are the navies. Aragon have three heavies, but 21 galleys. The Papal State have one heavy. Okay, so on the, on the high seas, I can win. Over here, I'll probably get slaughtered, though, if they bring in lots of galleys. But we do have particularly good naval leadership. Green gauges. Ah, maneuver won't really help me so much since I'm not in a good position for that. But hand buy-in could certainly bring in some pain. Although I could use the maneuver if I get my cogs involved as well. I just don't want them getting slaughtered. Which institutions are present in Prome? Uh, only feudalism. We did not get any of the others just yet. If we look at the spread of the Renaissance, it's nowhere near Prome. Same for colonialism. Good heavens, no. But feudalism we started with, so at least we had that going for us. It's going to be an expensive one to get it, but first off we need to land around here. So as soon as my boats are in position, which they almost are, I'm happy enough to declare war on Rome. For Rome. You forgot about making a colony. No, I am purposely not making a colony. It would be good for the country. But there's nowhere that I'm that interested in making a colony in. I want to take this land, but later I don't want to take this land, although I know it's good, it's just not part of the campaign goal. The only place that I would plausibly colonize is the rest of this, and I'll be honest, I'm not super keen on doing that right now. Like at all. The institution system is so much better than the tech penalties of EU3, I wholeheartedly agree. Alright. The navy's in place. I would rather have green gauges take this, all things considered. That extra maneuver will get a lot of our boats involved. Uh, so cogs are pretty awful. Look, they got four cannons compared to the 40 of a heavy ship. But that's still cannons that would attack. How do the great powers look? We've got Ottomans at the top, ourselves not on it at all. Mostly due to technology, but uh, even that's... Even that can't explain it all away. 
acceptance of the Chinese? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what? The efforts to integrate Chinese and the state rules have borne fruit, and our claim to the Mandate of Heaven is no longer in question due to lacking ties to the people themselves. Like many of the foreign conquerors China has seen over the centuries, our empire may never come to be seen as truly Chinese in origin, but as truly an empire of China. How did Haishi get that? I think it's because they managed to grab uh, a province in China. Acceptance of the Chinese. That said, Haishi is not doing too great. They're getting floored. Maybe upgrade the boats first. Yeah, we are at the stage of Karaks, aren't we? It would be expensive. But if I want to win the war, and trust me, I want to win the war, it might be the right thing to do. These guys are ready. I should probably declare the war sooner rather than later so I don't... Uh, well, so I can let the AE burn and I can actually bring up my stability in good time. Because some people are really not going to like this. Aragon and Siena's involvement are tricky. But I shouldn't be so cocksure. Well, it's not like they're going to come down here. I doubt any of them know the way. So let's just declare the war and uh, play it out. Okay, all these countries that I learned about actually did get the aggressive expansion. So perhaps uh, learning about them was not the greatest thing to do. However, this war will probably take some time. So we got that going for us. And let's raise that. Oh yeah, the war exhaustion is a thing as well. Let's get rid of that. Bring back up our stability and carry on like nothing ever happened. Not so happy that I'm losing innovativeness. Sienna are involved, Aragon are involved, not much can be done there. Um, oh, Jesus, okay. The Papal State decided that this is a good time to start a crusade against me, and they're probably not wrong. I'm also wishing I hadn't involved Lang Shang at this point, but oh well. We got the war declared, at least we'll get our boats back up to... Uh... Ah, damn, I just lost the guy I needed to write. We'll get morale of uh, navies for this then. Hopefully I still have the range to take some of this land in the war. I do not. I'm going to need colonial range guy by the end of this. Unless I'm satisfied just taking non co belligerent lands from Aragon which I am absolutely not. What I should focus on is butchering the Papal State as much as possible. Can use this to convert to Catholicism. Um, it'll take a bit. I need a lot of Christian provinces of the same denomination of Christian to make this the reality that I want it to be. Not too happy that Prome's um, peasants are looking to rise up right now, though. Why would they do such a thing? Hell, even my capital's a bit angry. Is it because of the reassessment survey? It's exactly because of that. Otherwise, the Pegu separatism should go away in due time. I shouldn't need these forts active whatsoever, because there's no way in heck Aragon, Papal State, or any of these other jokers are going to make their way around to my hometown. But I need my boats back up, fully strengthed, and ready to gun people down. I don't know who or where to start with, but we might probe our way into the Mediterranean and see if we can't take these islands. They'll give me somewhere to let my boats recover. But that's a bit of a threatening number of galleys to deal with in the Mediterranean. I would be okay if I had, say, 15 heavies, but I don't. I have 10. No way they'll make it famous last words. I just cannot conceive of a reality where they make it. Okay, France and Castile are both on the exploration uh, sensation. 
Thankfully, neither of them got a border with me here, otherwise they might be tempted to do nasty things like um, work with that crusade that I just handed them on a silver platter. We're not going to explore anymore, there's nothing worth learning about for now. For now, that is. Uh, once we have the spy network, I'm keen on stealing a few more maps. Can't, can't even demand land because I don't have it occupied. Nor can I scope out what taking Rome would be, but I'm guessing it's going to be all the aggressive expansion under the sun. So what I should do is butter up some Europeans and hope that we can be good friends. I should also make sure I don't miss the boat to military tech 12, because that's a big one. But I am focusing on mil tech, and we do have aristocratic ideas, almost offsetting a tiny fraction of the institution tech penalty. Uh, I'm not allowed to ally France, that's part of my creed, but England's doing pretty strongly. Probably too strongly, yeah, they got too many diplomatic repeat, uh, too many diplomatic people to be involved. Castile's not a terrible idea. As allies go, Castile's looking pretty strong. I just hope France don't dogpile them, but France is getting Englanded, and Castile's friends with England. So let's make friends with Castile. And let's... I uh, know Portugal's heavily in debt. There's no way they're going to be of much use. Best CB logic. They can't get ticking war score if there isn't one. Uh, best CB is usually very difficult to get good war score in. Portugal decided that I'm their rival. So good by any chance of making friends with them. No, Diviet. We may not make royal marriage. All right. Green gauges and my not so impressive army. It's time. It was always time to go. How's this gonna work though? I'm a little terrified of what they can bring because the moment I go into the Gulf of Almeria, I'm in a uh, trepidatious situation with regards to their galleys and my lack of galleys. Let's just go for it. Any fight we can take on the open seas here is a, is a fight that we can win. But I doubt that they're going to quite happily leave their navies out here to be slaughtered. We could work on the Aragonese Maghreb, but I'm quite confident that Aragon could get the military access they need to come and slaughter me here. Getting Aragon out with a white piece would leave the Papal State wide open for assault, but that means I'd have to get that... Um, get that piece of Aragon and I put some real pressure on him to do that most likely. Good thing about galleys is they don't do that much damage to Karak so if a naval encounter is going badly for me I can pull out it's not the end of the world. Look there's his galleys and, he's, and his heavy and he's too afraid to take me on so let us head over to Mallorca take these so that I have somewhere to rest my boats. I have every confidence in Jake's uh, success, says Kumbar Meister. I'm glad somebody does. Blockading the Straits of Gibraltar would help. Well, not really. I don't control either side of it. Well, maybe, actually. Maybe. Ninth of March, and I'm not being contested, so that's good. What's super good, of course, is that if I gain control of these, I won't be taking attrition here anymore. Green Gage's maneuver really helps with reducing the attrition, but uh, it's, it's going to run out soon enough, so let's get control of these as soon as we can, so that we have a safe place for our boats to go. And it, it'll be the start of putting pressure on Aragon. There's a lot of uh, his desire to stay in the war that I need to overcome, but I think if we dominate the seas a bit, oh good grief. Well, there he is with his heavies and his lights and all that, but if we can intimidate him with the size of our navy, even though it's pretty pathetic, we might just be able to. Alright, we got that, we got that. Can I get this in time to dock? Of course I can. Of course I can. Let's get ourselves in there, get our army back together, probably in Majorca. Get the tick of uh, no longer being at sea, bring you back out, bring you over here, and then start really intimidating Aragon's army is over there. That's um, 24, 8, 4, 
eight and four is uh, well out of gone. If you want to leave yourself wide open, that is for you to decide. I could pick off the Papal State, but let's try something a bit more ballsy. Let's threaten Valencia. It's a fortified capital fort, which is never a fun thing to deal with. However, what can we do but try? I'm a bit worried about sending my boats out here. Hell, I'm very worried about it. Maybe it would be more more prudent for us to land in uh, Jatavia, take that, and then take Valencia so we have a get-out-of-jail-free card if the Aragonese arrive. Can I also send off a... Uh, keep your eyes on the Aragonese scum detachment force. I think they've gotten whiff of me. It's not all. They've gotten whiff of my uh, my something something atta uh, attacking force. I should be faster than it with my light, but I can't guarantee it too well. Let's get ourselves back down to Gibu with you. Just generally out of your... What are you doing there? Get out. I'm a little scared of that. Not a lot, but a little. Did you ever do an in-depth screen discussion on your Google form? No, uh, that's on the to-do list. I honestly wanted to do it earlier this week, but time is not always that forgiving. God, if I could just have him in the Straits of Gibraltar, I could decimate that force with my heavies. Uh, we've managed to land here, so it's actually a tempting idea. I could sacrifice this light to make that happen. I just want him out in the uh, Straits of Gibraltar. Just like he wants his army back. He's working on that, we can tell. The unfortunate thing is that it's hard for me to get my army up here. Uh, it would honestly be a smart thing for me to retreat over here, grab my army, bring them back so I can have a more consolidated attacking force. But we're not doing that, we're going straight in. I'm going for the, uh, going for the throat of the Valencia. We don't have a lot helping us take this, but at least we have Shatavia. Let's take Valencia and keep our eyes on the Aragonese menace. But if his navy ends up sailing over here... Ahem. Ooh, I should keep that in mind. I make a deficit of lots of sailors per month. Because we're all out here like this. But I want to keep the blockade going. This could be a bit of a hold our breath episode. I could also bring the transports back to Ibiza. They would cost a lot less. The transport might only be 50 sailors, but I got 14 of them. And that, uh, that does eat into the sailor count quite a bit. If I can grab Valencia, that would be Aragon out of here. There's no way they'd want to stay in the war with their capital gone. And since they're all on patrol over in North Africa, that helps me out a bunch. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I do fear all of their navies coming against me together, but we might be able to outdo that. Jake, it may be worth the exploit dev for sailors. We'll cross that bridge if we come to it, but I'd really rather not. Exploiting uh, dev for sailors does not give a whole lot. Uh, I mean, let's consider, not manpower, uh, sailors. Look at that, I mean, exploiting Pegu would give me 162. Rather not. Who, who would really want to? Third fleet's in a bit of danger here, sitting around like that, taking all that attrition. They're enjoying quite a lot of time at sea because of this. Palambang, how dare they. Uh, let's get you guys over to Ibiza, and let's get one of our other... Uh, lights over there to keep an eye on the Straits of Gibraltar. I just want to know if the Aragonese move over here. Oh, I saw that. That was the Aragonese naval force. They're all sitting in Oran. That's a problem for me. And another problem is Valencia's not going anywhere. Um, I'm going to order a naval barrage just to speed things up. It's taking way too long. 
taking a riskily long period of time. If I could only bring in these extra two cannons, then we would speed this thing up by another 